guys, this is me, Surfer BRG, and I have a new special thing I'd like to cover in this video. I finally got a better lap, better desktop computer actually instead of a laptop, and it's right over there. So I don't know how to say this, but yeah, I bought a $300 refurbished gaming computer off of eBay and yeah I posted a picture on you know one of my YouTube posts but and someone liked the specs so you know what give me an idea why don't I just do a little quick video on my recent um, desktop computer I've got so this may not be the best video but I'm going to do the best to get the content going to you guys but hey I'm still stuck indoors so might as well so this is my um, this is an HP compact uh, desktop computer. It's one of those slim builds. It's like not super tall and basically um, this desk might not be the best area but you know need something need to clean up a quick area to set it up and um, basically um, yeah and this has really good specs like some people did ask for the specs so and the thing was this did come with the tower it also came with a mouse which is really because I needed mouse Keyboard I supplied on my own. This was a cheap generic one. And I didn't have a monitor, so I figured, you know what? Since my TV's not super massive and this is not super big, I'll just connect it. So if you ever want to connect a desktop computer to a to a TV actually, you would have to um you would just you just need an HDMI cable and you're good to go. So it's running off of Windows 10 and actually if I go into the let's see if I go into the settings right now I could easily pull up the let's see the system let's pull up the about okay so here's what we're running at as far as the specs goes if anyone's wondering so this is a desktop it's got Intel iCore 5 CPU 3470 CPU which is running at 3.2 gigahertz at the highest it's got 16 gig of RAM. It's got one terabyte hard drive space, and it's got a what was it? It's got Windows 10. It's got you know all the basic stuff. Nothing super fancy. But another bonus is the reason why I got this um, $300 refurbished um, computer was it also plays games. So I decided to give one of the graphics cards a try that this person offered. And so I got a GTX 1030, which I've seen covered in a lot of YouTube videos, but I've never used an NVIDIA card. I might have used a ATI in the past. I've used a couple of ATI cards in the past, but, you know, that was back in high school, but now things are different. So, anyhow, so, sorry if this video is not the best, but, yeah, I got this refurbished, um, what was it? refurbished computer gaming desktop computer so it's a desktop slash gaming computer basically for three hundred dollars taken to consider that I did have to supply my own uh, keyboard and screen but it already came from mouse it also did come with a keyboard but I really did not like the design of the keyboard so I decided to like I decided that you know well I'll just supply my own keyboard and so not a whole lot I can say right now but I pretty much got what I paid for so three hundred dollars just got me a basic or like up to scratch setup and usually I buy brand new but I'm skeptical on buying like used or pre-owned but I decided to give the refurbish a try and three hundred dollars I could not pass this up and it was a good deal so and right now I'm going in the segment and I'll show you guys a couple games I was able to play on it because so right now I'm playing some Torok 2 actually this was um Oh, it was a popular first person shooter actually and um yeah the one thing I was also grateful was I did not know that Steam actually backs up your save files so so much going on but yeah yeah Yeah, I played a lot of the first Torak, Torok, but I haven't played the second one. And, man, I must say, this is one interesting game. 
So yeah, I figured I'd try not only older titles, but I try. Plays actually really good actually. I need to invest in one of those um programs that allows you to check frame rates and stuff, but so this is basically a Torok 2 Seeds of Evil. And majority of these games you can find on Steam and what I, what I like about Steam is they do have older tiles and modern tiles. So this is a little gameplay of Torok 2, Seeds of Evil. And plays actually really good actually. So, not a whole lot to say on this one. Alright. Another game I figured I'd look at is, um, you know, I played a lot of the Elder Scroll games. I got introduced to Oblivion during my high school years and I could see why this game was popular. But, um, yeah. This game actually plays really good. It's not a super old title, but it's a pretty modern title. Popular. I would boost up. I even tried Skyrim on this game, too, on this computer as well, too. And Skyrim played much better than my other laptop. So, it's really nothing much and stuff, except, except, except not much, except, you know, just, you know, screwing around. But, yeah, why did I have to commit a crime in this game? Yeah. Yeah, this is one game I recommend you guys revisit or play. You can play it on a lot of, like, older, um, and newer computers. And I even tried it on my old, uh, shitty, my old terrible laptop, and it actually played without a problem. Oh, look, a citizen's helping me. Yeah. But, um, anyway, don't want to get too carried away, so that's a little Elder Scrolls on here. And finally, this was one game I couldn't play on my old laptop, my previous laptop. And, um, for here I decided to run, uh, Resident Evil HD Remaster. This is one I picked up during one of the Steam sales, and, you know, when they have a Steam sale, you, uh, you know, you can't, you know, you can't pass up on the deals and stuff. I also like how they did um, update the controls and stuff. The only main problem I did have with this game is this game did require me to grab a controller, so I had to reach for my Xbox 360 controller. And I'm, I also give credit, maybe I'll cover this game some more once I get capture software set up. But, um, yeah. But, um, yeah. I'm actually glad I was able to try out this game because I thought it played uh, really good and excellent. Because, you know, I had to take it off. This is an HD remaster. But, um, yeah, and I would get into this game some more, but I don't want to get too carried away. So I'm just testing out a few random games I have in my Steam that I have installed. So this is basically Resident Evil HD Remastered, and I definitely pick up this game, especially if you're a Resident Evil fan. So, Overwell, which I recommend you guys um, buy a refurbished computer. I'd say yes, but there's a few things I was told you gotta be on the lookout for if you decide to take the eBay route and the refurbishing it. A few things is make sure it has the Microsoft authorized refurbishment on their listing, and make sure if they, if they have it by a rating, make sure it has a B grading or above. And the final thing, of course, is make sure the buyer's feedback is 99% or above, because otherwise, if you don't check, that's our thing too. You have to check the listings very carefully because you never know if you're getting a piece of junk or a fake. But luckily, I finally got one. I actually got one that was legit. And I've told people saying you could get better. And I, you know, I'll admit I may not know everything about computers, but and I've had a lot of people say, you know, you could get better. And actually, down the road, I might consider swapping out parts for maybe like a better processor, a better graphics card. But I see it as if you just need something to hold you over or something just to get started on, then I'd say go for it. But if you guys want something a little better, then you're better off just saving your money or spending the extra money. But anyway, it's not the best, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did the best I can. I need to get some capture software too, so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next one.